That happened again. Another robbery in the building. So you bought a cooler? It's a strong box to protect my irreplaceables. And what would those be? Some taxidermy that's been in my family for generations. My Tony, my military discharge. You were in the army? Briefly. Now, I gotta find a good place to hide this key. Because if somebody finds this, they hold the key to all my possessions. Literally. Literally? What's that supposed to mean? You mind if I hide this somewhere? No, go ahead. You peeped! This is your hiding place? It was under a spoon. Hey. What are you doing? You jam your key in here, you shorted out my intercom. You just had to go looking for it, didn't you? So you hate it that I have a little secret. Anything I do, ooh, ooh, you gotta know all about it. You're so obsessed with me. Thanks. I'm sorry, I, I don't know you. What? There's been some robberies in the building. I, I can't let you in. But I live here. I ran out to buy some bird seed and, and I forgot my key. Sounds like a scam. I'm very sorry. Is that guy still there? He's staring at us. Don't look at him. We don't hear that. There's a giant parrot in the hallway. It's Phil's. Who? Our neighbor that you turned against. <laughs> Anyway, I told him it would be fine with us if he wanted to let it stretch its wings out in the hallway. What'd you tell him that for? Because since you've been playing God with the front door, I've been trying to smooth things out, Jerry. In fact, I was just hanging out at his place. Really? What's uh, it like? Is it nicer than mine? Where does he have the couch? Well, I don't know, but the key problem is solved. I hid it at Phil's. He let you? No, he doesn't know. See, I hid it without telling him. So, uh, Phil won't be compulsively looking for it like some people. <laughs> you. Hi, is Phil here? Yeah, I'm here. Phil. Hi. I, I know we got off to kind of a bad start, but your bird, which is lovely, by the way, made a mess on my door. And? I thought maybe you'd clean it up or your maid there. That's my wife. <laughs> I can't go until I find my cufflinks. Yeah, see? I knew you would lose them. That's why I took them out of your dresser drawer and put them in my strong box. You're a lifesaver. Would you get them, please? Yeah, we'll stop by Phil's. We'll pick up the key, huh? <laughs> hey, what's going on? Fredo is dead. That strange Portuguese guy lives next door to the incinerator? No, my bird. We just got back from the pet cemetery. Oh, Phil. Mrs. Phil. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, I'll bet you are. They told us he was poisoned. Something in his food. But I, I didn't... I... Kramer, they think I killed Fredo. And who buries a bird? Yeah, just give it to the Portuguese guy and he puts it in the incinerator. <laughs> just get the key and let's get out of here. You know, it's a, it's a funny thing about that bird dying. I hid the key in Fredo's food dish. That's a weird coincidence. Kramer, you killed Fredo. Fredo was weak and stupid. He shouldn't have eaten that key. Kramer, I need those cufflinks, but now they're in the box and the key is in the bird. What are we gonna do? You just answered your own question. I can't believe we're grave robbers. Man's best friend. Jerry, I want something like that on my tombstone. <laughs> God, here he is. I don't want to dig him up. And you're the one getting the key out of him. I'll dig. <laughs> Listen, I heard that Lassie number three is buried around here. I'm going to go check it out. <laughs> oh, that was easy. All right, honey, one last look, then you have to let Fredo rest in peace. Hey, Kramer, I dug Fredo up, now let's cut him open. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, neighbor, 